So he had become, uh, when he had started studying theology, he kind of lost his faith, apparently. You know, he started realizing there's so many versions of these stories. They're coming from different places. Mm -hmm. He became sort of like, hey, I, I think I'm agnostic. I'm just going to, like, step back and have this approach of not knowing, not, not, not having a doctrine, not having an ideology that I'm attaching myself to. And so then when he goes through all of the, this is a straight lay scientist, by the way. This is not like some guy looking for psychedelics to be a part yes, of everything. Yes, it's a very serious book. Right. And there's mm -hmm. a lot of those people that are doing that. They're looking for psychedelics to be a part of everything, sort of to validate or justify their own use of these things. He wasn't doing that at all. You know, and he wasn't like Wasson, where a guy who went down and experienced the, the psychedelic experiences in Mexico and then came back and described them for mainstream literature. This guy was doing it like, like just, a scholar. He just, and his whole purpose was just to decipher the Dead Sea Scrolls.